The cover and summary for the latest volume of the Index Light Novel are out, so let's waste no more time and get discussing what we might expect when it finally releases next month. First we have the cover which shows Aradia, Alice and a new mysterious character. Wait, am I missing someone? Is that Toma? Which editor thought it was a good idea to place the text there, covering the face and body of the main character of the series? This is like the first time I've ever seen this from an Index volume. Term has literally been Mike Wazowski'd. I'm assuming there must have been some kind of miscommunication between Haimura, who is the illustrator of Index, and whoever edits the final covers, cause I doubt this was intentional from the start, but I could be wrong. Also, I wonder who this new mysterious character is. Since he's next to Alice, he could be the Mad Hatter maybe? Although he looks like the long lost cousin of Samuel Mathers, rather than the Mad Hatter. Or maybe he's just one of the Bridge Builder Cabal members, I don't know. Also, it looks like Aradia will potentially be teaming up with Terma in this volume, since she received the illusion breaking punch, which means she might be one of the good guys now, and I hope we get to see her god form as well, which Terma interrupted from the previous volume. Now onto the summary, credit to JS06 for the translation. New year, new rules. January 1st means Wonderland? Happy New Year! After finding misfortune on New Year's Eve, Kamijo Terma is making his New Year's shrine visit for a change of pace, but he's doing this along with defeated and handcuffed Aradia of the Killers. While enjoying the festival stands in District 12, which contains all the mythological and religious stuff, he meets up with some noisy Takuada girls in Furisode, such as Misaka Makoto, Shokoho Misaki, and they make their prayers at the shrine together. There, Kamijo decides to track down the headquarters of the Bridge Builders Cabal, he can do that using the tracker Kamakawa Seria planted on a Bologna soccer bus. Kamijo is just about to switch the tracker on, but Alice has already come to Academy City herself. Yep, that's right, after 18 years of this series running, we are finally in the new year of the Toaru timeline, which is very exciting to think about. Aradia is stated to be handcuffed, but I'm not sure how that's supposed to restrict someone as strong as her. Plus her hand appears bandaged, but I don't remember her hand getting injured from the previous volume. Unless this is meant to be the handcuffs restricting her. Also, it appears Misa Misa are back yet again. I honestly wonder how long Kamachi is going to keep regurgitating this pairing, to the point I'm honestly a bit fed up of seeing them always together. I wouldn't mind it as much if it was just one or the other making appearances, but why do they always have to be together like they are inseparable? Well, I mean, I know why. It's because they are both hugely popular. But come on, Kamachi, please just give them a legit reason for being involved this time in whatever the plot is going to be. Also, from what I gather, Succubus has finally returned to the Bridge Builders Cabal headquarters since she has been tracked, but looks like Alice has come back to Academy City to likely cause even more chaos by messing with Toma, perhaps. From this summary, it looks like Alice will be activating her reality warping magic live adventures in Wonderland, but that makes it super difficult to anticipate what is going to happen due to how truly unpredictable Alice and her magic is. This also makes me curious what Alistair's next move will be. Will he stay in Academy City and take action against Alice with Anna Kingsford in order to uncover the mystery revolving around Alice and the Transcendence? Or will he travel to the Bridge Builders Cabal headquarters to look for clues there? I just really want to see Alistair in a proper fight with his new body, but I suppose he won't need to fight with his full extent as long as he keeps Anna Kingsford on his side due to how powerful she is. Guess I might have to keep waiting, but as long as Alistair has a major role going forward, I'll be satisfied. Let me know in the comments what your hopes and expectations are for GT7, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.